Hi all, Planet Side Agent here. Uh, today, uh, out in the cold garage, <laughs> uh, I decided to uh, show you all a little uh, alcohol burner that I got off of eBay. It's Chinese. Uh, it was only like a dollar seventy-eight plus free shipping, so I said, "Ah, what the heck? I'll uh, I'll get it. Just see what it is. You know, I don't, can't really think of what I'd ever use it for, but I thought, yeah, what the heck? So, anyway, uh, let me." Uh, We'll go ahead and uh, show you what I got here. It's kind of, kind of a neat little thing. So we'll just open her up. It's uh, looks like uh, made out of anodized aluminum. I don't know if you can see that. Here's the lid. There's where the wick comes out. It must be a vent hole right there you can see that and this is uh, where you hold the fuel this part actually comes with a with a rubber gasket oops get back here uh, put that back in there there we go anyway and they sent along a, a little wick for it so next task is to try to get this wick through the, uh, the little hole that the uh, wick is for. It's probably not going to... It's probably not going to go very easy. Nah, it's not quite really big enough. Yeah, I think it's easier to go through the other side and then pull it through. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you what, uh, while I monkey with this, try to get it started, I'll uh, turn the camera off and then get back once I got it in. You know, the uh, the hole for the wick just isn't big enough for this size wick. I imagine you might be able to find a wick that would fit, but you know, what the heck, this is just, you know, cheap aluminum, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, drill out that hole a little bit bigger and uh, put in uh, so it'll wick and will fit in it. It's not like, you know, if I destroy this, it's, it's not like I'm out of a lot of money. So let me go ahead and take care of this. I'll go ahead and videotape this. It'll probably be a massive fail, but I can always delete it. <laughs> Aha. Yeah, it's probably too big. <laughs> Cuz it's not snug. I should have gotten a little bit smaller bit. So, oh well. Anyway, so let's uh I'll go ahead and use the whole wick. What the heck? So, let me uh Yeah, the wick's actually got a little bit of a, a little wire in it, so uh, it will uh, shouldn't shouldn't fall back through the hole. I should have measured that a little bit close closer when I drilled it out. It would have been just a little bit snugger would have been better, but oh well, I just kind of just kind of eyeballed it when I grabbed a a bit. So anyway, let me put some alcohol in it, and we'll light it off. Uh, be enough. Of course, now the alcohol will probably leak out of there. I guess if I destroyed this, I could always buy another one. <laughs> don't know why. I don't know. Don't know what I'm going to use for this one. So. Uh, Drip alcohol there. In fact, when I grab this little piece of tile, this is a good for Michael workbench. I doubt that this alcohol would have any effect on it, but let's go ahead and uh, 
Yeah, well, you know, before I light it off, I'm going to see uh, if... See, this doesn't have a, a gasket on it. I imagine I could go buy one at the hardware store if I was really worried about it. Let's see if this thing's going to leak at all once I put the, the little lid back on. Come on. Oops. Let's put it where you guys can see. There we go. Well, if it's going to leak, it's probably going to just be little drips. Maybe I'll just set it on the side for a while and see what happens. But I think I'll light it for Well, yeah, you can see a little bit of alcohol did come through here, but it, of course, but it didn't come out the lid. So anyway, let's fire this baby up. Cook up a big pot of chili on this. Okay, pull it right off. I'll tell you what, uh, hmm. I guess I could pull that wick out and get even a, a bigger flame, but like I said, uh, it's just a little tiny flame on there, so, uh, you know, I don't know, uh, I have no idea what you'd use this for, at least somebody out there probably have an idea what you could see, use a little um, alcohol burner like this for, I don't think it'd be practical for, you know, cooking or anything like that, so... Let's, uh, what I'll do is, uh, let's set this up here, and, uh, I'm not going to use that. I got a Esbit, uh, pot holder. So I'll put that on there and put a little water on there and see if, uh, I don't think, it'd probably take a long time before it would boil Oil the water. See, that's not that's not that's not much of a flame. Let's see it in there. It's uh, probably about as much as a candle. So. Like I said, you probably have to sit it there for a, a really long time before uh, it would, uh, you know, heat up water. I guess it would eventually heat it up, but probably you're, no way you're going to get a boil. That's just not much of a flame there. So anyway, like I said, it was, I, I saw it on eBay. It was cheap, free shipping. I figured it was just kind of a neat little gadget. Just added to my correct collection. I got a lot of stoves all kinds uh, white gas alcohol esbit propane yeah just just as a collection i should show the one i got this really cool i think it looks kind of french old uh, alcohol stove like a little camp stove maybe i'll have to drag that one out and show it to you sometime it's 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 kind of interesting but uh but i don't know i guess i guess you could Kind of call this a, uh, it'd be about the same as a candle. So whatever you want to use a candle for, you know, maybe uh, if you got melting some uh, paracord or something like that, you're doing some kind of work. But anything you'd probably want to use a candle for, this. So I guess, yeah, really what you could call this would just be a little uh, alcohol candle. Um, I think uh, next I'm going to uh, snuff this out. And uh, set it on its side and see if it leaks. If it leaks uh, too much, maybe I'll look to get a small O-ring for it, keep it from leaking. Then I guess you could just, yeah, you know, figure you got yourself a little alcohol candle. So I guess if you have a need for it, then this would be for you. So yeah, let me. Uh, I'll turn this off for now and uh, and do a do a, let it sit for a while, see if it's going to leak, and then uh, get back to you. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I've had this sitting here for oh, about 15 minutes, just sitting on this uh, paper towel, and there's no, I'm not seeing any leakage around it. So, uh, I, yeah, while I was waiting for this to uh, do my leak test, I, I did uh, the video on uh, this little funky alcohol stove. I'll uh, leave a link to the review on that. So, anyway, so uh, 
yeah, it uh, it doesn't leak even though there's no gasket on it. But I, I don't I don't know if I'd you know guarantee that forever. I think if you're going to carry this thing around, you probably, probably buy a gasket for it just to just to make sure. But and I'm sure there'll be yeah. Surprisingly, there's not a lot of alcohol uh, on the top of this. So hmm. yeah, yeah, there's a little bit in there. I can see it. So you're going to get a little bit of a leakage out of here, but probably not that much. Probably wouldn't even notice it. So but. Uh, Anyway, I'm going to just go ahead and uh, call this a uh, alcohol candle, and I was kind of thinking about it. Uh, I think if you needed something like a, a small flame like you'd use a candle for, uh, I've used candles for, uh, especially, you know, on my uh, nylon uh, backpacks and that kind of gear, you know, sometimes it'll start to fray on you, the uh, the, the seams, uh, so I'd go ahead and, and remelt those, so... Uh, this, you know, this would probably be really good for something like that. In that, nice thing about uh, alcohol, you're not going to get any uh, any smoke or soot like you would with a candle. So, I guess if you uh, needed a small flame for whatever little artsy craftsy sort of uh, repair thing you're up to, this might be uh, just the ticket. So, like I say, and you uh, for you know a dollar less than two bucks uh, with shipping is. Uh, not a bad little deal. Like I said, it you know the craftsmanship's on it's pretty good. I mean it it looks cool. So anyway, uh, maybe if, maybe I'll put a link to uh, the the uh, eBay thing. But trouble with the eBay eBay thing, you know maybe by the time you get around to watching this, uh, you know they uh, that that particular run might not be on eBay anymore. So it, I'm always kind of wondering whether I should bother doing that on my videos. So but anyway. Here it is, your little uh, uh, aluminum, anodized aluminum uh, alcohol candle is what I'm going to call it. So anyway, uh, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.